Hi, we're Anna and Alex, Only About Children's Partner Dietitians. In this video, we're talking all things snacking. So thank you so much to everyone who sent through questions. We're gonna dive right in and start making our way through these. So to kick off, we received quite a few questions about this actually, asking how many snacks a day kids should be having. Good question to kick off. So generally, we would recommend that children are eating every two to three hours. And for most young toddlers, this would look like about three main meals and then two to three snacks. And I think what's really important here is that your role is to make sure that you're setting up a really clear feeding structure for your child. So you're deciding when they're having these snacks. And the reason that is so important is to help prevent your child from snacking all day long and also to help them to be more in touch with their innate hunger and fullness cues. Next question, what to do if your child asks for food outside of snack times? Yes, yeah, so it is really normal for toddlers to ask for snacks pretty much all throughout the day, certainly outside of meal and snack times. Um, and I guess the key thing to remember here is to really try and be strong when it comes to having that clear cut meal sh structure. So three main meals a day, as Alex just spoke about, and two to three snacks. And if your child does ask for snacks outside of these times, what you might try and say is something like, when we get back from the beach, you can have a snack. So let them know when they will next be having a snack so they can anticipate that. Yeah, and ultimately it's your job to decide when the snack is, not theirs. Okay, so moving on to the next question, which is what is an ideal snack for kids and how much should they be having? So when you're offering your child a snack, ideally you want to be offering them something that contains a source of protein and or fibre. And we've got some examples of healthy snacks up on the screen here. In terms of how much, you want to, be, you want to remember that a snack is a snack, it's not a meal. Um, so making sure that you're starting on the smaller side and your child can always ask for more if they need. Something that works really well with lots of families that we work with is to try offering more buffet style snacks or tasting plates. So this is where you might choose two or three foods to put on a platter and then you'll sit down with your child and eat from this platter. Remember that on this platter, you wanna be making sure you're offering a, at least one safe food. So a food that you know that your child is generally pretty good at eating and then alongside this, offer one to two new foods. So foods that maybe your child hasn't been exposed to or they're not so good with. And this way, you're making sure that you're continuing to expose your child to these new foods. Perfect, and I guess like, following on from you know, snack ideas, we did receive a few questions asking for pre-packaged snack ideas and whether pre-packaged snacks are okay to offer your child. Um, look, when it comes to snacking, Convenience really is key. And there are absolutely a whole bunch of healthy pre-packaged snacks that you can definitely give your kids. And they're really good to sort of have in your pantry for those days when you're on the go and you just don't have time to whip something up. So again, we'll pop some ideas up on the screen here. But just one thing, I guess, to keep in mind when it comes to pre-packaged snacks is just because you might find the snack in the health food aisle or just because it looks healthy or claims to be healthy doesn't necessarily mean it is. So unfortunately these days, there's a whole bunch of snacks in that health food aisle which are full of nasties and are not something that we generally, generally recommend to families. So a good example of this is these apricot frugos that we've got up on the screen. And fair enough, from a first glance, you definitely think that these seem to be a healthy choice. They've got words like all natural and gluten free on, on the package. But if we dive a little bit closer, we can see that these exceed the guidelines for sugar and fat. And the first two ingredients in this product are sugar and oil. So certainly not something that we would recommend offering to your child, despite the fact that we find it in the health food aisle. Can you give some advice on adding salt and sugar to snack foods? So this will really depend on the age of your child, but as a rule of thumb, we would recommend that you really try and avoid adding any sugar or salt to snack foods. If you are baking some muffins or loaves and the recipe calls for sugar, remember you can always use less or reduce the amount of sugar that the recipe specifies and add in some pureed fruit like banana or pear to sweeten it naturally. Um, in general, you always wanna make sure you're trying to offer your child snacks that are low in sugar, but don't worry about um, natural sugars that we find in dairy products or fruit, because these are very different to added sugars and we don't need to worry about limiting these in the diet. And the final question that we have time for is, 
Is it okay to offer my child snacks in the car? So this is a question that we get asked quite a lot and we totally understand it can be very tempting to give the kids in the back some snacks to either keep them quiet or keep them happy. However, the thing to remember here is if it is not a time that your kid would usually be eating, so if it doesn't fall within their snack or meal schedule, then try to avoid offering them snacks just for the sake of it. Because what that will do is it will teach them to eat mindlessly, which means they're gonna be less in tune with those hunger and fullness signals. And it also can be a little bit of a safety risk if they're eating whilst driving. So it all comes back to really trying to be strong when it comes to creating that meal and snack schedule for your kids to follow throughout the day. Great, well that's a wrap on the questions that we had today. But if you are looking for more healthy recipes or nutrition advice, make sure you head to the Only About Children website where you'll find more content and resources relating to nutrition.